Hello students, this is Dr. Dakshayani, Assistant Professor from Department of Zoology, Maharani Science College for Women, Bengaluru. Students, in this session, let us understand in detail about flight adaptations in birds. The contents as follows. Introduction to adaptation. Flight adaptations in birds showing both morphological as well as anatomical adaptations. Students, as we all know that birds are known as masters of air where over the years birds have evolved not only having wings but developed many other adaptations that help them to fly where the entire body of birds have been modified for flight. That is why the birds shows very good flight and they are the fastest of all animals. Birds shows having a strong but a light weight framework of bones and this is achieved by the fusion and elimination of some bones at the same time hollowing the remaining bones and this is also achieved by some of the bones found fused in the pelvic girdle as well as in the vertebrae. Adaptation Adaptation means any alteration in the structure or in the function of an organism or any of its parts that results from the natural selection and by which the organism becomes better fitted to survive and at the same time multiply in its environment. As a result, when an organism shows the greater the degree of adaptation, you will see more is the deviation from the normal morphology. When you observe in this regard, birds have achieved their good flight by developing strong but lightweight framework of bones. At the same time, they also have a fused and hollow bones. Because of many adaptations where the birds have developed and these adaptations have taken place, that is the changes have taken place both morphologically as well as anatomically. So, this flight adaptations when in birds, when you see, you will come across the morphological as well as the anatomical adaptations. The entire changes you could observe, that is the morphology, the anatomy, physiology and embryology of birds are highly modified to suit for the flight. As a result, the birth shows the adaptations with respect to its body morphology as well as inside anatomically. Let us see what are the important morphological adaptations birds show. The first and important feature is its body contour. When you see a bird, you can see the birds have a proper spindle shaped body. It's because speed is a must for the birds, the, for any aerial life. So, to minimize the resistance offered by air during flight, the body of birds is fusiform or the spindle shaped and it lacks the extra projections which may offer resistance in the attainment of speed in the air like fish in the water. And this spindle shaped body ensures the less air resistance at the same time it also helps in conserving its body energy and it 
it also helps in showing efficient in flying the second feature is having compact body when you see birds body it is very compact it is light and at the same time it shows a stronger dorsally and heavy ventrally which helps in maintaining equilibrium in the air you can see that the attachment of wings is high in position in the thorax region and also the lightweight organs are also positioned high like uh, the lightweight organs like uh, lungs with sacs and at lower central position of heavy muscles and at the same time the sternum and the digestive organs are positioned below the attachment of both the wings and consequently the low center of gravity are other morphological facts of great significance the other very important feature of birds is that the presence of feathers that is body of all birds is covered by a special integumentary derivatives called the feathers where feathers are diagnostic feature of the birds since no other group of animal kingdom has ever developed these feathers in them well see feathers have uh, some following advantages for birds the first one is the feathers are smooth and they are closely fitted and they are backwardly directed that is the backwardly directed counter feathers make the body streamlined helping them to pass through the air by reducing the friction to the minimum the feathery outer covering makes the body light and at the same time protects from the hazards of environmental temperature the feathers hold a considerable blanket of enveloping air around the body and add much to its buoyancy that is floating the non conducting covering of feathers insulates the body perfectly and prevents the loss of heat from the body which enables the bird to endure intense cold at high altitudes and also to maintain a constant temperature the feathers of wings form a broad surface for striking the air this picture shows the different kinds of of feathers covering the body of bird the other important feature is that in birds four limbs are modified into wings the four limbs have transformed into a unique and powerful propelling organs called as the wings the wings are the sole organs of flight these organs have complicated structural constructions consisting of a framework of bones muscles nerves blood vessels feathers where both wings spring from the anterior region of the trunk during resting period a resting time the wings remain folded against the sides of the body and during flight they become expanded the surface area of the wings is increased by the development of elongated flight feathers the called uh, the remiges the vein of each remixes forms a flexible and continuous surface 
for striking the air in flight. The flight feathers of, of a wing also form a broad surface for supporting the bird in air. When you see the particular shape of the wing, that is with a thick strong leading edge having convex upper surface and concave lower surface causes the reduction in air pressure above at the same time increase the air pressure is increased below with minimum turbulence behind overall this helps in driving the bird forward and upwards during the flight birds have mobile neck and beak the transformation of forelimbs into wings is duly compensated by the presence of beak or the bill which is used for feeding nest building preening and as well as offensive and defensive purpose the mouth is drawn out into a horny beak which acts as a pair of forceps in picking up the things and in various other activities such as nest building pruning etc which are commonly done by four limbs in other animals in birds neck is also a, plays a very important role where it is very long and flexible for the movement of head which is necessary for all various functions birds show bipedal locomotion as the anterior part of the body of birds becomes concerned with flight the posterior part of the body becomes modified for movement on land for locomotion on the ground and to support the entire body weight the hind limbs occupy a somewhat anterior position on the trunk and they become a stouter in case of the flightless birds which are actually the running birds bird show perching the hind limbs of a bird are well specialized for an arboreal life where their muscles are developed in such a manner that when a bird sits on a branch of the tree the toes close around the twig automatically this happens due to so called perching mechanism when the bird settles on the branch of a tree the legs are bent and put the flexor tendons on the stretch with the exertion of the pull the toes are bent spontaneously around the perch where a bird can go to a sleep in this position without any fear of falling off birds have a short tail where it bears a tuft of a long tail feathers are the rectrices which spread out in a fan like manner and it also serves as a radar during flight they also help in steering lifting and counterbalancing during flying as well as perching let us see the anatomical modifications that is what are the anatomical modifications have taken place for flight adaptations in birds the the skeletal framework of flying birds is very stout and is lightly built on the hollow girder principle that is when you see the endoskeleton of birds it is actually very light but rigid that is why the endoskeleton of bird is having a lightness at the same time rigidity where it provides the large surface area for the attachment of muscles the that is most of the bones are found to be pneumatic where it is filled with air sacs and it provides with a secondary plastering to make them very rigid in birds bone marrow is completely absent 
and further skeletal framework becomes very compact and it has been centralized it is very rigid due to the fusion of bones where the birds lack teeth and they have a fused thoracic vertebrae except for the last one and they have wings which is used for striking the air as a result when you see the endoskeletal adaptations in birds that is the endoskeleton of birds shows three striking or very important features that is they show fusion of bones they show elimination of bones they also show having developing a new structures in the endoskeleton fusion of bones can be observed from the right from the anterior tip of the birds body that is when you see the skull the skull bones are like paper like it is thin that is very thin and they show a tendency towards the reduction in their number these bones are firmly fused with one another whereas the posterior portion of the skull is a spongy and the birds lack teeth under the fusion of bones when you see the other skeletal part of the bird that is the fusion of pelvis with the synsacrum where they show fused mass of the last thoracic vertebrae plus lumbar vertebrae plus the sacral vertebrae and also few anterior caudal vertebrae where it forms a compact bone or the compound bone called as synsacrum the fusion of pelvis with the synsacrum not only supports the weight of the body when the bird is walking but also counteracts the effect of shocks as the bird alight and the absence of a ventral symphysis of ischia and pubis permits the birds to lay larger sized eggs you can have a look at this picture where pelvis is fused with the synsacrum which provides a firm attachment to the legs to bear the body weight at the same time to contract the shock when you see the caudal vertebrae which is completely found fused which forms the pygostyle and it supports the tail feathers and also maintains the stability in air and when you see the proximal tarsals which are found fused with the lower end of the tibia and thereby it forms a, a compact compound bone called as the tibio tarsus below which you can see that the tarsals and the metatarsals also found fused to form a compound bone called as the tarso metatarsus which actually strengthens the legs to to bear the body weight at at the same time it also helps in bipedal locomotion furcula where in birds the arched clavicles are fused with the interclavicles and the powerful pillar like coracoids of pectoral girdle are well suited to resist the inward pressure of the down stroke where the free clavicles which are a fused to form a either y or v shaped bone which is commonly called as the wish bone this actually helps in stabilizing the body 
at the same time maintaining the body shape and it keeps the internal organs very intact under greater stress in birds breast and hand bones are found fused which also provides the strength and support when you see the endoskeleton of birds you will come across some of the bones have been eliminated among them you can observe that birds lack heavy jaws and the jaw muscles with the teeth the skull bones are completely found fused they are very thin and they are pneumatic presence of a wide pelvic canal and a slanting position helps the bird to lay a larger eggs with calcareous shells the other important aspect you can observe in the endoskeleton of bird is that formation of new structures you can see the sternum or the breast bone which is expanded having a median ridge or the keel for the attachment of major flight muscles in flying birds while it is without a keel in running birds that is in fly, flightless birds like ostrich kiwi and emu sternum is also hollow in which viscera are completely located they have also developed the uncinate process which helps in strengthening the rib cage and also provides the surface area for the muscle at flight muscle attachment and here the sternal parts are completely ossified and the bird endoskeleton that is the vertebrae of bird shows heterocelous vertebrae where they have a flexible vertebral joints and the vertical flexion which helps in easy motion flight muscles one of the important anatomical modifications for flight adaptations in birds in birds flight muscles are found attached to the breast bone are what you call the sternum and they are very strongly developed in in flying birds there are two types one is the pectoralis major which brings about the downstroke while flying the other one is the pectoralis minor which brings about the upstroke during flight the action of the wings is actually controlled by the flight muscles which are greatly developed in birds and they are they are weighing for about 1/6 of the entire body weight of the bird while the muscles of the back remain greatly reduced the muscle fibers comprising the flight muscles are of striated type and well vascularized to withstand the fatigueless after prolonged activity the wings are depressed by large muscles called the pectoralis major which brings about the downstroke and are elevated by pectoralis minor which brings about the upstroke during flight in birds other muscles are found to be smaller and help the above muscles that is the flight muscles in their functioning respiratory system let us see what is the anatomical changes as occurred with respect to respiratory system in birds as a flying bird it requires great and sustained power therefore its respiratory system is specialized in such a fashion that the food is combusted that is oxidized very rapidly and completely to liberate are to release a large amount of energy to meet the extensive rate of metabolism where the greater amount of oxygen molecules is needed by the body tissues 
for this purpose the dense compact and inelastic lungs are supplemented by a remarkable system of air sacs which grow out from the lungs and occupy all available spaces found between the internal organs in birds even extending to the cavities of hollow bones the air sacs primarily reduces the specific gravity of the bird that is weight of the bird and also facilitate complete aeration of the lungs the bird's lungs are aerated twice at each breath which secures a perfect oxygenation of the blood where the air sacs help in regulating body temperature by internal perspiration and further insertion of air sacs in between the flight muscles like pads reduces mechanical friction and also increases the mobility in muscular action when you see the digestive system in birds where the rate of metabolism in birds is very high so the food requirement are great and digestion is also rapid at the same time most birds are very selective in their diet and accordingly their beaks are variously modified that you would have observed further because undigested waste is minimum and is immediately got rid of consequently where the rectum becomes much reduced in length and never stores the undigested food the reduced development of the rectum in flying birds indicates towards the fact that the flying animals cannot afford to bear the weight of fecus that is why the gall bladder is absent or it is reduced in birds which reduces the body weight to some extent when you see the circulatory system where rapid metabolism requires the large oxygen supply to the tissue which cannot be achieved by an efficient circulatory system inefficient that is it can be achieved by a efficient circulatory system accordingly the avian heart that is bird heart is large sized it is four chambered and it is powerful and efficient and due to double circulation in it the oxygenated and deoxygenated bloods remain completely separated further where the red blood cells of the birds contain large amount of hemoglobin which is responsible for quick and perfect aeration of body tissues and they are warm blooded animals a due to perfect aeration of blood the body temperature remains high that is it is between always between 40 to 46 degrees celsius and does not change with the environmental temperatures and for this reason birds are called as warm blooded or the homeothermic animals the high and constant body temperatures enables the bird to take flight at high altitudes and also facilitates activeness in every season when you see the reproductive system in birds where the reproductive organs are reduced in their size both in males and females where in females only left ovary is functional and right ovary is rudiment in order to reduce the body weight where liver is replaced displaced to right side of the female when you see the excretory system where the birds have a well developed pair of kidneys but urinary bladder is absent in order to avoid the storage of nitrogenous waste product where the nitrogenous waste product is excreted in the form of uric acid and urates very frequently as a whole when you see the avian excretory system has become a specialized in three ways one is for the retention of water the uriniferous tubules with henle's loop are efficient in water absorption where 
the coprodium of cloaca is another efficient water absorbing organ of birds for reducing the weight of the body there occurs no urinary bladder where the semi solid urine is immediately excreted out not retained or stored for long time in the body the metabolic nitrogenous wastes are converted into a less toxic and insoluble in our organic compounds such as uric acid and urates which is an important physiological volant adaptation when you see the nervous system in birds where the bird brain is highly developed consisting of well developed centers for equilibrium muscular coordination and also instinct where the cerebellum is much developed and convoluted controlling the sense of equilibrium and muscular coordination the cerebrum is also large and relatively smooth controlling voluntary muscular movements behavior intelligence and memory birds have developed means they depend mostly on the sense of sight so the eyes are very large and optic lobes are very well developed due to acute vision where the sense of smell is poorly developed corresponding to the ill development of olfactory lobes in birds when you see the sense organs where they have a large immobile eyes which have which shows binocular vision and eyeballs are well protected by sclerotic bony plates which increases the distance and the sharp distinct in vision eyes have high density photoreceptor cells in the retina where they can detect the polarized light as well and presence of cone cells on fovea gives the better vision for birds mechanism of flight in birds in birds the wings provide lift by creating a suitable that is a uh, creating a situation where the pressure above the wing is lower than the pressure below the wing since the pressure below the wing is higher than the pressure above the wing there is a, a net force upwards to create this pressure difference the surface of the wing must satisfy one or both of the the following conditions that is the wing surface must be curved and it should be inclined relative to the air flow direction as a result the body moves forward in upstroke and is achieved by the action of pectoralis major and minor flight muscles where the pectoralis major are large reddish which are connected to lower side of head of humerus and the keel of the sternum which brings about downstroke that is depressor they are the depressor muscles and they bring about the downstroke during flight whereas the pectoralis minor arises from the sternum and are connected to dorsal side of the humerus which brings about the upstroke during the flight thereby the body moves upward in upstroke which is achieved by the action of pectoralis major and the minor flight muscles students hope you could understand the flight adaptations in birds which includes both the morphological adaptations as well as the anatomical adaptations or modifications which suits for flight adaptations let us answer few multiple choice questions related to this session question 1 which type of body shape offers minimum resistance to the air while flying in birds is it spindle shaped body or boat shaped body or a streamlined body or all of this 
the answer is D. Yes, the spindle shaped, boat shaped, stream as well as streamlined body offers the minimum resistance to the air while flying in birds. Question 2. What are the organs of flight in birds? Is it wings, legs, or both wings and legs, or all of these? The answer is A. It is wings. Question 3. What type of endoskeleton birds have? A very stout and light skeletal system, or rigid and pneumatic skeletal system, or a compact and centralized skeletal system, or all of these? Answer is D. It's very stout and light as well as rigid and pneumatic and as well as compact and centralized skeletal system birds have. Question 4. The type of neck birds have which helps in the movement of head important for various functions. Is it a long and flexible or short and flexible or a long and rigid and none of these? Its answer is A. It is a long and flexible neck. Question 5. The temperature of the body of a bird always remains low, medium, high or none of these. The answer is C. It is always remains high. Students, these are the few references from website as well as from the books for your reference. Thank you.